Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Rockbox custom firmware on your iPod Classic. The main reason for this being is that all the other videos on YouTube about Rockbox are fairly outdated and I would like to create an updated guide. This guide will include what is Rockbox, where can I find it, what iPods are compatible, how do I install it and finally how do I use it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. One thing I must mention is that I got the giveaway pod to work. It was actually a fairly simple fix that I should have considered before saying the motherboard was dead. Big thanks to IsBlue for teaching me how to clean the 30 pin connector. All I had to do was throw some isopropyl alcohol at it and it worked. Now I use it everywhere and anywhere. Again, a big thanks to DankPods for giving it to me. If you want to see more giveaway iPod related content, be sure to comment your ideas down below. So what is Rockbox? Rockbox is free replacement open source firmware for digital music players. It runs on a wide range of players including iPods, Walkmans and many other music players. Installing Rockbox can allow you many extra features such as functions, applications, utilities and games. One significant feature of Rockbox is that it allows iPod users to play music in the FLAC format, which cannot be done on the stock iPod operating system. Installing Rockbox is fairly simple to do and will take under 20 minutes. What iPods are compatible? All the iPod Classics are compatible with Rockbox along with some of the iPod Nanos, specifically the first and second generation. I do think that Rockbox looks nicer on the monochrome iPods because the ordinary colour scheme on the colour iPods isn't very nice. You can install themes which allows you to change the look of Rockbox, but I won't be talking about them today. Always remember that when you install Rockbox, you aren't deleting the stock operating system, you are simply installing another one. This allows you the ability to dual boot between them which I think is perfect. Personally, I think the look of iPod OS is much better than Rockbox, but Rockbox allows you to have superior and even sometimes over the top EQ settings. How to install Firstly, you'll need to head to www.rockbox.org, I'll leave this linked in the description. This is the official website for Rockbox and where you should always download it. On the left hand side of the webpage, click on the link named Release. This will take you to another page with a download button. Simply click that and it will take you to the final page where you can select your operating system. Obviously select the correct operating system and install it. The setup process will be different for every operating system, but just set it up like any other application. Once it has been extracted, go to the folder that you extracted it to. There should be a folder named Rockbox Utility. Open that. Inside of that, there should be a program named Rockbox Utility as well. Before you launch the Rockbox application, now is a good time to plug in your iPod. Launch Rockbox and find your iPod in the file system. Next you can select what you would like to install. Bootloader and Rockbox are compulsory because that is the main operating system. You can choose whether you would like to install fonts, themes and games. I would recommend that you install all three because they take up hardly any space and allow you to do many cool things such as play Doom. Make sure that you go ahead and select Stable Release. All you have to do now is click the Install button at the bottom. Another window should show up and once it says Package Installation Finished Successfully, you can go ahead and click OK. Now you can click the Eject button in the top right hand corner and unplug your iPod. Once you unplug your iPod, you may still be in the iPod stock firmware. To get to Rockbox, you need to hold down the Select from Menu button until the screen goes blank and whilst the screen is blank, you switch the hold switch to lock and back again. This should take you into Rockbox. If you don't get it first time, keep trying because it took me a few times when I first installed Rockbox. If you just wanted to install Rockbox, feel free to exit the video now. How to use. In general, Rockbox is simple to use. All you do is treat it like a normal iPod. To sync your music, all you do is drag and drop the files into the iPod with Windows File Explorer. The menus look quite different, but in general, all the same buttons are used. I'm pretty sure that you could figure it out anyways, seeing as there are only 5 buttons on an iPod. If you want to get back to stock OS, all you have to do is hold down the menu and middle button for a few seconds until the screen goes black and then lock the iPod. This should take you back. One cool feature that I would like to mention is that you can play retro games such as Doom. Obviously it is nowhere near the current graphics quality of Doom, but nevertheless it is one cool feature that we cannot see on stock iPod OS. If you want to play it, just navigate to Plugins and then Doom. And that's it. That's all I have to tell you about Rockbox. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.